We're gonna look at how to pass a 90 degree edge, our edge negotiation, all right? So as we approach our ropes and we've managed them, we're gonna install our ASAP. And we can install our chest ascender or crawl. We're gonna to commit to that just like you would commit to it in any other maneuver and adjust our harness. I'm gonna reach for my hand ascender and foot loop. We're gonna put that on. And as we climb up this wall, it's important to keep your knees bent. As I climb up, and if my knees are straight, this is gonna be very difficult for me to climb up this wall here. So I want to get my chest ascender as close to the wall as I can. So keeping those knees bent is key and pushing your chest out towards the wall as you climb. That's gonna help that rope run through the crawl as you go up. We're gonna climb all the way up to our edge here. But before we move any equipment past the edge, what we're gonna do is change over into our descender first. Because I'll be clambering up over that edge, I really don't want to be anything like a tooth device to have that potential to fall back onto it because we could damage our rope in that case. So to remove any potential of that happening, we're gonna get out of our tooth device. We're gonna change over. So, and as I've changed over there, I've dropped down slightly. It's gonna be a bit easier for me to get past the edge if I just regain that height that I lost so I can climb up my descender that little bit. And that's all I really need to do here. The rest is a bit of clambering up over the edge. I'm gonna bring my backup device past that edge, getting as high as I can. And I'm gonna use my hand descender past the edge as well can connect that on just to my main line for something to hold on to. I could use my foot loop. We also have an etrier rigged up here. So this foot loop with multiple loops, I can use that as well to stand into. And I think I'm gonna just use that. What I'm gonna do here is focus on just sitting on the edge with my legs dressed over the edge there. So we can stand into one of those loops, step up nice and tall. I'm just gonna shimmy on over, like so. I'm on top of my edge. What I'll be doing is removing my equipment, but before I do that, we're gonna make ourselves as safe as we can, removing this back up, our ASAP in this case, as far back as we can. And I'm gonna use this fall arrest lanyard, connecting it onto my dorsal D-ring on my back. From here, I can just go onto my knees. I still want to stay relatively low as I remove my equipment from my ropes. I can remove my hand ascender. I can tidy that up a bit. Removing my descender now. And as I remove my equipment, as I remove my equipment from my ropes, I'm gonna just dress them over my rope protection. Now that we've climbed up over our edge, we're gonna come back down through it. So still on my fall arrest lanyard here, I'm gonna install my equipment on these ropes first before taking this off. So I'm gonna put my ASAP back on the rope with the arrow pointing towards my anchors that are now behind me. And with my main line, I can grab that around about here. I want it to be slightly past the edge. I can kind of use the general rule, my thumb and pinky finger, about there is where I want this rope to be coming from my descender. Because I don't want it to be resting right on that edge, that'll make it very difficult to operate it. And I also don't want it to be so far past that edge that I kind of drop onto it. So that's where that rope will be coming from the descender. With the tail rope coming out of the top, anchor line coming out of the base of it. As I close that, I'm gonna double check against this diagram here. It's so common in this spot for level ones to load their descenders backwards now that the ropes are coming from behind us instead of from above us. So double check your diagram here, making sure that's loaded in the right way, okay? 
There's one more thing we're gonna install into the rope that's gonna make our lives a little bit easier in getting past that edge, and it's our hand ascender. We can install that right where we had it earlier as we transitioned over it. I'm gonna use that to grip as I go over that edge. I've got my rope access equipment on my ropes right now. We're safe, I can remove this fall arrest lanyard now. And as I do that, I'm removing my fall arrest lanyard, I'm making sure I'm not standing. My anchors are now placed at my feet, so I wanna be relatively close to them to keep my fall factor within allowable limits, okay? Here, I'll be sitting on the edge with my legs over that edge, same as I was before. And I can use either my hand ascender foot loop or this pretty handy etrier that's rigged up. I'm gonna to choose to rig, use that etrier. I'm gonna flop on over, I'm gonna stand in that etrier nice and tall as I shimmy over. That way all my weight's in this etrier. I can make sure that my ropes are gonna be nice and clean on that rope protector and my ASAP is gonna be coming with me as I gently just weight those ropes can remove my foot from that etrier and now I can remove my hand ascender. We're finished with that now, we can tidy that up. And before I just go and descend to the ground right now, I don't want to drag my backup device over that edge. So let's bring that with us. We don't want to damage that. Now we're good to come down to the ground.